Hi, welcome to this video in which I'll show you how to create a 3D antenna pattern from 2D horizontal and vertical patterns, as well as creating 2D patterns from datasheet polar diagrams. My name is Zaina, I'm a product engineer at Altair, and I'll try to help you prepare your transmitter diagrams throughout this video. Let's have a quick overview of the types of 2D antenna patterns supported in AMAN and their display. We have two types of 2D antenna patterns that can be visualized, the horizontal patterns and the vertical patterns. Each type can be displayed in two modes, depending on the scale. It can be logarithmic scale or it can be a linear, linear display scale. Antenna patterns are in general represented with many sample points, each one representing the gain in different direction. The 2D horizontal pattern is displayed with top view, and the angles stretch from 0 to 360, as we can see here, and it is oriented counterclockwise. The direction of zero is describing the direction with maximum gain, but this is not mandatory. And also the other directions can be used. But as the direction of zero degree is often visualized in radio planning tools, it helps the network planner if the main energy is also radiated in this direction. When it comes to the vertical patterns, in the 2D vertical pattern view, the angle stretches also from zero to 360 degree and it is oriented clockwise. The zero degree in these cases points to the sky and 180 degrees points down. So 90 degrees and 270 degrees represent the horizontal plane. We have different types of file extensions for the horizontal patterns and the vertical patterns supported in AMAN. So for the horizontal patterns, we have the .ahb and .aha file extensions. One of them is the antenna pattern horizontal in binary format, and the other one is antenna pattern horizontal in ASCII format. And the same goes for the vertical patterns. And now we will see how we can use the AMAN tool in a demo in which we will cre recreate a horizontal 2D pattern based on bitmaps of these patterns. And after creating these two 2D patterns, we will also interpolate these patterns to obtain the full 3D pattern that we need. Let's launch AMAN and start by creating a new 2D pattern. So first we will have to load the bitmap that represents one of the patterns that we want to create. Here we chose the horizontal pattern, which we will start by creating. So first thing to do is to center the origin of the coordinate system in the bitmap to that of AMAN. And second, we will try to scale the whole bitmap to fit the coordinate system in AMAN. Third thing to do is to choose the corresponding grid size for your pattern and then we will start by creating the points. You can do that by right clicking on the bitmap so you will start by creating points. The first point you will click on you will be asked to specify if you are creating a vertical pattern or a horizontal pattern. If you do any mistakes along the way, you can just right click on the point that you need to delete, or you can left click and drag it to move it. So here we are drawing manually over the bitmap. Now, once we're done with that, since it's drawn manually, it's always better to perform an interpolation for what we have done. And we can select an increment here. We set it for one degree. And here we are, we, can, we are done with the creation of the horizontal pattern. We will save it in the AHP format, which is the binary format. We will repeat the same steps for the vertical pattern where we will import the corresponding bitmap and follow the exact same steps. So first by setting, moving the center of the coordinate system to match then scaling, setting the grid, 
and starting by creating, by drawing the points one by one. And again, if you have clicked on a wrong place on the screen, you can always delete that point you have created by right-clicking on it and deleting it or by moving it. And you can do that by using your left click of the mouse and dragging it to its new position. Once you're done, we can save it. And now let's see both the horizontal pattern and the vertical pattern side by side. We can also remove now the bitmap from the background since it is not required. And here we have a clear view of the 2D patterns. Now let's perform the 3D interpolation of these two patterns by choosing the converter of 2D to 3D. Now we are choosing the patterns we have just created, so it will ask us to select both patterns. And here we are setting the parameters of the display. We can choose between logarithmic view, linear view, we can set the maximum and minimum scale of our pattern. This is so, and here we see the result of the 3D interpolation. Now you can choose also different methods of interpolation. We recommend you choose the HPI method. You have some display options, you can toggle between only viewing your 3D pattern in a wireframe mode or as a surface. You can also view, again, the vertical and horizontal patterns. You can manually change the scales of each one of them. You can also export the views as bitmap if you wish. And by this, we conclude this demo. I hope this was helpful to you. And thank you for following.